R. Donovan, Wikipedia article audio. Arthur James Donovan Jr., nicknamed the Bulldog, was an American football defensive tackle who played for three National Football League teams, most notably the Baltimore Colts. He was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1968. R. Donovan, born June 5, 1924, was the son of Arthur Donovan, S.R., a boxing referee, and the grandson of Professor Mike Donovan, the world middleweight boxing champion in the 1870s. Art attended Mount St. Michael Academy in the Bronx. He received a scholarship to the University of Notre Dame in 1942 but left after one semester to join the United States Marine Corps, enlisting in April 1943. He served four years, to include service in the Pacific Theater during World War II. He took part in some of the conflict's fiercest engagements, such as the Battle of Luzon and the Battle of Iwo Jima. He also served as an ammo loader on a 40mm gun on the aircraft carrier USS San Jacinto and as member of 3rd Marine Division. He earned citations, which included the Asiatic Pacific Campaign Medal and the Philippine Liberation Medal, and would later earn him a place in the U.S. Marine Corps Sports Hall of Fame, the first pro football player so honored. After the war, he completed his college career at Boston College. In each of his first three seasons, Donovan played for a team that went out of business. He started out with the first Baltimore Colts, which folded after his rookie season in 1950, followed by the New York Yanks in 1951, and their successor, the Dallas Texans, in 1952. After the Texans franchise was moved to Baltimore in 1953 and became the second Baltimore Colts, Donovan played with that team. He became one of the stars in an outstanding defense and was selected to five straight Pro Bowls, from 1953 through 1957. The Colts won back-to-back -back championships in 1958 and 1959. He was selected to the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1968. During his career, Donovan played in what many believe was one of the most important games in NFL history, the 1958 title game between the Colts and the New York Giants. The contest between the two teams took place on December 28, 1958, and ended in a 17-17 tie. Because it was the championship game, it went into overtime, the first NFL game to do so. Donovan made an important tackle during the overtime, stopping the Giants and allowing Johnny Unitas to lead the Colts on an 80-yard scoring drive to win the game. The NFL's first overtime game, witnessed by 40 million viewers on nationwide television, captured the public imagination and became known as the greatest game ever played. Donovan was one of 12 Hall of Fame players to take part, six of them Colts, but at the time he was not aware of the game's significance. He published an autobiography, Fatso, in 1987. He was noted as a jovial and humorous person during his playing career and capitalized on that with television and speaking appearances after retiring as a player. He owned and managed a country club near Baltimore. Donovan also appeared at 10 times on The Late Show with David Letterman, telling humorous stories about his old playing days, and about other old-school footballers who he played with and against. He relayed a story that he played without a helmet and in fact is shown on football cards without a helmet. Letterman wore Donovan's No 70 Colts jersey in the famous Super Bowl XLI commercial with Oprah Winfrey and Jay Leno. Donovan also made several appearances on The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson. Donovan guest starred in the Nickelodeon show The Adventures of Pete and Pete in the episode Space, Geeks, and Johnny Unitas. He also appeared as a guest commentator at the WWF King of the Ring tournament in 1994. Donovan's appearance at the event would become infamous among wrestling fans for being seemingly uninformed about the product as well as generally befuddled behavior such as repeatedly asking how much certain wrestlers weighed. He was joined by Gorilla Monsoon on Play by Play who inadvertently referred to Donovan as Art O'Donnell, and Randy Savage. He was co-host of the popular 1990s program Bruss, Donovan, Davis and fans on WJZ-TV in Baltimore with Cole teammate Ardell Bruss. The trio talked more about Art Donovan's fabled stories than contemporary NFL football, but this show held high ratings in its time slot. He was also a pitchman for the Maryland State Lottery and ESPN. Donovan was married to the former Dorothy Sheets for 57 years. Since 1955 they owned and managed the Valley Country Club in Towson, Maryland. Although he was the owner, 
Donovan was known for doing manual labor at the club to include painting and working in the kitchen washing pots and pans. Donovan died August 4, 2013, at Stella Maris Hospice in Baltimore from a respiratory disease at age 89. With the death of our Donovan this past week, sports lost one of its last genuine characters, in every sense of the word. A lot of guys try to get our attention. Donovan was that rare guy who didn't have to try. He was as good on the field, he was elected to the Pro Football Hall of Fame in his second try, as he was off it. He appeared on Late Night with David Letterman in The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson and reduced both hosts and their audiences to howling in seconds. Often the jokes were at his expense. Self-deprecation is not a quality prevalent today. Like many athletes, who were part of the greatest generation, he left football during World War II and joined the Marine Corps fighting in the Pacific Theater including Iwo Jima. His former teammate, Raymond Berry, told NFL.com that he once asked Donovan about the war. He said to me, Raymond, I got shot in the ass on Iwo Jima if you were young enough to have missed Donovan during his heyday on the late night circuit, head to YouTube.com and check out some of his old clips. If you were old enough to remember Donovan, you should head to YouTube as well, just to refresh your memory. Donovan died last Sunday at age 89. He was a player and a great storyteller and we'll never see another guy like him. That's sad for us, but it's a darn good epitaph.